What is up, guys? <laughs> so, uh, went to Cabela's the other day. Derek called me. He's like, hey, uh, Cabela's having a sale. Um, I don't know what he said, but anyway, we ended up going. So, there's a restaurant over by there that's real nice to eat. So, we went there, too, after. But, uh, called Samano's in Noblesville, in Indianapolis. But, uh, it's in, like, a gas station. Kind of, kind of a hole in the wall a little bit. There's not a lot of signage and stuff, but they have some good, like, I think it's chicken nachos, and they have, like, pineapple. It might be pork. I think it is pork. But uh, really good pork, uh, pineapple, and then you can get, like, pico de gallo. I got sa or sausage. I got uh, um, sour cream, guacamole, and stuff put on it. And Anyway, it's amazing. It's the second time we went there. So anyway, got some stuff at Cabela's, and uh, just wanted to show you what I got. Um, let's just start going through here. Um, they had these original chatterbaits. I really like this color. They had these. It's got the little bit of like, you know, the I like that side over here. It's like the speckled, but it's got lots of colors. A little bit of orange there, yellow, chartreuse, white. And then the dark color in there. So, I've always liked that color. I got two of those. So, a couple of those bad boys for like, uh, I think they were, well, I think they were three something. Probably normally five now. So, they were a certain percentage off. They weren't, I don't think they were half off. But, I just, I just, Felt in my pocket. I was fishing tonight earlier. I found this on the ground. Pretty wild. Didn't have any hooks on it, so it was easy for me to put in my pocket. But I was like, I'm feeling my pocket. I was like, what is that? Um. Okay, so I keep having line twist problems with my spinning rods. So this is kind of like the real magic, but it's Bass Pro Shops brand and uh, line conditioning stuff. It says. Um, See here. Conditions all line types for maximum performance, improves casting distance, improves, uh, maximize, minimizes line memory, read much, protects from UV light and wa water minerals, reduces backlash. So, good stuff. And you just spray it right on your reel. You know, you got your reel there and you just spray it right on it. You know, it shows it on a bait caster and you're just squirting it right in on the, on the line and Somehow it, it treats it, but it's it's kind of watery. It doesn't look like it's real thick or anything where it would affect much, but excited about that to try it out because I keep having freaking problems. Um, let's see. We'll, let's do some exciting stuff at the beginning and at the end. Um, love me some Chapos. So they had Chapos. They were, I'm trying to think. They're normally $12.99. They ended up being like 9 50 or something like that. Let's see if I got their receipt in here. Of course not. They end up being like 950 or, or a little bit more right around there. About $3 off. So, love the black. That's a 90. Walmart always has the 105s. 90's a little smaller. It's going to be better for smallies and stuff off the bridge. May not get quite the casting distance. It's still half ounce. So, I, I think that's the same as the 105s. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check on that. But, got that one. This one also is half ounce. Excited about that one. Chapo 75. This is a uh, bluegill color, obviously. But I like that white belly, little orange on the lip. And then that good uh, good color there. So, excited about that. Ready for some Chapo videos, man. Oof. That'll be fun. Can't beat the Chapo videos. Hoping to do some floats, float trips this year where uh, we can whack some big smallies and stuff. Um, I'm wanting to get back to the White River where we caught some on Ness two years ago. Me and Corey and his cousin. And uh, I'd like to get back there. But uh, I haven't had one of these before. I love MEPS. I, I've got the squirrel tail. You know, the the skirt part. I got squirrel tail, white, and I just got the Black Fury. So now I've got this one. Um... I, they didn't. This wasn't on sale. I think it was seven ninety nine. So, um, 
but I ordered some. I've also got some green ones I ordered, and they said chartreuse, and they weren't chartreuse. They were green. That's chartreuse, in my opinion. Or, yep. I mean, see what it says here. Doesn't say. So, anyway, in my opinion, that's chartreuse. A little bit of red in there. Um, looking forward to using that because I think it'll be amazing. Sorry, I got a notification. I got to get off there. Okay, so excited about that. Love maps. You guys know if you've been watching me, they're awesome. Um, okay, maybe the least exciting thing. Um, these Bobby Garlands. This is the color Corey likes with the chartreuse and, and uh, blue. It just works good. We've had good luck, and my I got another pack of them, and I'm about out. So. Um, Definitely need to stock up on those. Uh, let's go jigs now. I love bit, these Bitsy Bugs. And they've got some different colors that they don't have at Walmart, which is cool. You know, they each have like their color exclusive stuff. But if you've watched me do some jig videos, I love to have a green pumpkin jig with a blue trailer or a blue jig with a green pumpkin trailer. That way they have their option. You know, if there's a certain color that's, you know, um, getting a response from them, you know, then you got both options. So this is the same thing. You got a little bit of that blue and a little bit of that green pumpkin. So if you got murky water or whatever, I can go with, uh, you know, a more natural, the green pumpkin trailer, or if we got a little, or murkier water, dark trailer, the, the, black, the black or blue. I like a pit boss, three inch. And then if you got clear water, I could go a little more with, uh, those are the same color. They look, one of them looks a little bit lighter. One of them's a little thicker with the green pumpkin, I guess. But uh, clear water, green pumpkin, more natural, or a, or a ghosty trailer, murky water, the dark color. Um, that's always my theory. I mean, sometimes they just like the black and blue. So um, then I got two of these. I like this. I, I've used some of these that were this color, kind of a, a little bit more of a reddish for springtime and these aren't quite that great they aren't quite as it was more of a rust i guess this has got a little tiny bit it's not as dark the orange is not as dark as that other rust color but um i call that more of a i mean my what pops in my mind is like a cold water crawl you know a pale crawled ad um and then you can put your green pumpkin trailer on it hopefully or a I think the perfection ones, I need to order some that would go with these, actually some three inch pit bosses or get some, um, or I'll have to use something else, but I don't think green pumpkin or the black and blue is going to go with that real good. I probably have something in my box, but anyway, I like those, I like those a lot. Just a little more of a natural color for, for, uh, right now, colder water and clear water. And then I just got one green pumpkin. And it's got some purple fleck in it. I don't know if you can really tell in there. Not really. Maybe a little bit right there. But, but I'm excited about that one. I'm not sure why it looks blue in the front. Just a reflection on something. But just a green pumpkin. Those are like $1.58. I told Derek, I said, I'm never going to see them for $1.58 again. Um, so anyway, I got those. Okay, now... Um, I've been watching this, uh, and you guys have probably seen him, maybe. Um, ND, so North Dakota, Yak Angler. So it says NDY are all capitals. And then ND, Yak Angler. So this guy's awesome. And he uses the Nico Cross with the, with a jig, with a jig head. He probably doesn't use these jig heads. He uses more of a round ball, ball head. But, uh, these are what's recommended. For the TRD, uh, Z-Man, Elastec, I guess they're not TRD, I don't think, crawls, but it's a little bit longer hook, you can't really tell on this, those are some big hooks, um, one tenth ounce, both of them, but that's going to be good for like, if you want to do float trips and crap, or if we do hit them when they're, when they're nesting the smallies, and these are the three and a half inch crawl. So these are the bigger crawls. They have the small ones that I think they call three inch, but they look they look tiny and they're good like bitsy bug trailers. But you got to be careful because 
this type of plastic reacts with any other type of plastic. So if you leave one of these on your jig, it's gonna screw up your screw on your jig. So you, that's why I don't really like these a lot, unless like this situation, I'm gonna use it on one of those hooks and it'll be the perfect combo. I'm not using it with a skirt or anything like that or with the jig. And uh, anyway, I think it's gonna be awesome. So, and we held them up and made sure they were right. They, they still look smaller than my crawdad, but they'll come right through the middle of that crawdad's back and be it'll be sitting perfect. So, excited about those. You gotta watch uh, North, North, North Dakota Yak Angler, ND Yak Angler. Um, he's got ones called Catching All the Smallies, and I think he's using the Nico version of this. Um, the Elastic, I mean, it's the same way. I think the Nico is the same way. They're like indestructible. This says 10 times tougher, catch more fish. Um, you see people using these and they're like pulling them like that and they don't break. That's big with the pinchers because, you know, my pit bosses, I'll be fishing. I like that they have four. Because one gets ripped off, it's like, ah, eh, I'm okay still. You know, if two get ripped off, I might still feel like, ah, eh, I'm okay. But you end up having one or none, then you're kind of screwed. So love the fact that they can, and the smallest, the smallest will try to pull the pinchers off, that will attack it. So um, that's big that, that they can't come off of here. So excited about that. There will be a video on that, baby, coming soon this summer, late spring. Now, uh, crankbaits and rattle trap, and we're done. So moving through pretty quickly here. Um, had one of these last year. It's got the yellow, on, yellow and orange on the belly. That yellow will be the first thing they see when it's coming, and they'll hear it. And then just great bluegill colors on there. You know, you got your bluish and a little bit of red on the front, green to a little bit of yellow on the side, to the dark top. I mean, just every color they could possibly want on there. And uh, like it. Um, when you buy these, be careful you're not buying. I bought one that's like a, I can't remember what it's called, like a hard knock or a, but it seems like it's just one, one thing in there instead of your normal router trap. Be careful if you're buying some of these at Walmart or someplace um, that you're not getting that. This one says the original rattle trap, three inch. Um, and if you grab it, and you can tell. The other ones, they sound funny, and I haven't had as good a luck with those. Um, the reviews are good online stuff, but I haven't had that good luck with it. So, okay, now this is probably the least sexy <laughs> crankbait I got, but this is a square bell crankbait, KVD. Um, it's the. Uh, I think this one is called the shallow, doesn't say that. Yeah, shallow runner, dives three feet. So I was looking for crawdad colors. That's actually orange bream. But I mean, I feel like that's your crawdad colors with your orange belly. Um, I think a fish, you know, a bass could think that that's either a small fish or, uh, or a crawdad. So I like that. Um, I think these were all like 350. One of these was a little more because I guess the color is so hot, maybe. So we got that one. Liking that. Dives to three feet. Um, these other ones, this one's two to five. It's a, it's a little bit bigger. I had one of these, and I've got a video out. It's my pinned video um, where I was just whacking them. It says, like, insane um, something on my thing where I'm... What does it say? I'm at Corey's. Uh... Feeding frenzy, insane feeding, feeding frenzy or something like that. I mean, I'm using all this other stuff, not really catching anything. Um, switch to this, just start whacking them left and right, like three pounders at Corey's. And then I did end up switching at the end to a, like a bullet pop and was catching them on that too. And I mean, it's probably one of my best videos. That's why I got it pinned on my channel. But um, that thing right there, I don't think that's the exact one I had. I think what I had was the 1.5. Um, I've got a couple here that are the KVD 1.5s. It says it right here. This one says 4S. So not sure, exactly sure what that means. It says two to five feet. So maybe that means like, maybe that 4S means four feet or something, but had a lot of luck with that color at the factory pond 
and at Quarries. And I just, I feel like that's going to be good at the Creek too. So a lot of confidence for me in that color. And it's not easy to find. That's Orange Belly Crawl. And uh, so I got to get some more of those. That one's got the rattles. The other one, this one was, uh, that one's silent. The shallow diver or whatever. 1.5 shallow runner dives three feet. That was 350. The bigger one, the orange belly crawl, that was like 550, but I can't find them, so I had to have it. Okay, this is a KVD 1.5 dives three point three to five feet. Um, look how they don't have the eyes on the front. It's got the eye holes, but they didn't put eyes on it. They put eyes on the back. So it looks like a crawdad kind of swimming away. And where the eye is, is kind of like, so it kind of looks like a crawdad, I guess, with no pinchers, you know. And you can, a lot of times when I'm using this or that orange belly crawl, I'll do the boom, boom, you know, like a crawl, like a crawdad would swimming. And then, uh, you know, trying to just replicate that swim pattern of a, of a crawfish. But really liking that. And then last but not least, uh, Kevin Manham Tournament Series. This thing is awesome looking. Natural pumpkin seed. Um, it's also the 1.5, dies three to five feet. And look at that thing. I do a lot of creek fishing uh, in Brandywine Creek here in central Indiana. Sugar Creek, um, even in the, in the White River and stuff, there's got to be those. I mean, they're all over Indiana. But uh, that just looks really good. And... I don't think it's got, uh, it might have rattles in it. Not much, if, if any, but um, the, the ones that have rattles says, like the orange belly crawl one said, said rattling. So you get your clear water, which is most situations through the year, they're gonna like the quiet ones. They're gonna see it off in a distance.